Okay, so we're just going to talk about your core today. So, a lot of people think your core is just your abs, six pack muscles. That's not what, that's not what it's about, really. So, core, your core stability, it, you have tons of smaller different muscles, more deeper inside, like your deeper abdominal muscles, deeper hip muscles, even your diaphragm. Basically, it's, it's the co-contraction and the coordination of using all of these muscles together. Mainly, it's mainly about control. So it's not about how many sit-ups you can do. It's about the control of movement. So your core is about controlling movement. Really. Okay. So I'm going to go through three different exercises today, three different core exercises, and just again to show you, it's about control and not about just feeling the burn in that area. And there's six back muscles. So. First of all, the position of the spine is always a good giveaway of the control. So for example, if I just arch up my back, curve up my back up, lower back up the mat like so, and then flatten it back down, curving it up, flattening it down, so just get a little awareness of the position. So what we want to do is keep a relatively flattened back position. You don't have to keep it fully flat, but almost just keeping a tiny bit of pressure onto the ground. And for example, then if I go through our leg lower exercise here. So you can do this with bent knees or straight legs. So the more straight your legs are, the harder it's going to be. The main thing though is that we don't want to lose that control. So as my legs go down, we don't want to let that lower back arch up. So keep that same position the whole time and just working through that movement. So as I mentioned before, your diaphragm is part of the, is part of your um, core muscles. So we'll use the breathing through. This one, if possible, trying to exhale as you lower your legs down and inhaling as you come back up. And so that's just one example. Again, keeping that relatively flattened back position. Next exercise, another common one you can see, your ab rollout. Again, it's the same, same, um, it's the same idea here, really. That when we roll out, we don't want to lose that control of the position in the lower back. So we want to keep that pretty much locked where it is. And rolling out, and back in. So just rolling out, and again, just as far as you can. So, for example, if I go, say if I go to a point here, and then losing that control and moving through the hips, then there's no point going any further. You're just, yeah, you're not going to be working your core muscles effectively. So just a couple of other things to note there, are that we don't want to have the hips back like so, and just rolling through it like that. Your hips move forward as your arms stretch out. And slow control, just like the other one. It has to be slow as well as control because it's when you do it fast, the control doesn't come into too much. Gravity is often just do, often doing work then. So last one. So I'm sure yeah, everybody knows what a sit-up is, but we're going to do a bit of a modified version here. So we'll use the bench and we'll just use these the uh, foot rest on the bench to um, help help do a little bit differently. So. We have what we call a decline sit-up where say if this bench was dropped down where I drop back to a decline and it really loads up the uh, the abdominal muscles. So this is this is gonna get the, the outer abdominals a lot more really compared to uh, um, well they'll all get the outer abdominals but this will uh, be less the, the deeper core muscles and a bit more of the superficial ones. So um, yeah with this the idea is that we're it's going to help stabilise stabilize the legs, but then rather than the traditional sit-up position, you'll actually get quite a bit more of a stretch through both your um, abdominals and your hip muscles, which help with the sit-up movement. It's kind of like a, it's a um, progression from the, the normal sit-up one, but not as quite as difficult as the decline. So you can go whichever version you want with your hands, say if you go across the chest, and we're just sitting back like so, and then back up. And just working through that movement so you feel you're really keeping stable um, on the foot rest below. And you're slow and controlled going back and down. And again, we don't want to just gravity let us drop down. 
So if I up in one second and down in one to two seconds, if you can. And that will just work things a little bit more. So because as I said, the abdominals are going to be a little bit more fresh, which yeah, you'll, you'll definitely feel things. So just to summarize again, core is about control and keeping it slow as well. So just make sure to implement those. It's not about how many reps you're doing. It's about keeping it controlled. Clearly, since I've said that word about 10, 15 times now.